Hey everyone, it's a Crafty Crusher back for another video. Um, this is episode 139. Uh, I got a lot to show. I have 20, 23 finished objects. I have a yarn haul from Michaels. Even though I said I wasn't buying any yarn this year. That one down in the toilet. <laughs> Michaels. I thought was having a really really good sale on their impeccable yarn which I thought it was $1.99 and when I went today that sale was over it was over yesterday but they had a sale for buy one get one half off so I got lots what are you doing mom <clears throat> so like I said I got a lot of finished objects I have yarn haul I only have one knitting whip. I'm going to be making more, but that's all I have for right now. Um, I got some goodies in the mail. My wonderful friend, Ujet, sent me some um, happy mail. So I'm going to show that. Um, before I get into all of that stuff, um, I keep saying, um, My great gram is back in Encompass Health. Uh, no idea how long she is going to be there. So, I am up here at my mom's, if you couldn't tell by the scenery. And I don't know how long I'm staying up here, but I will stay up here as for as long as they need me to. Um, so, I really don't have any other lips other than my knitted hat. Because I already finished my main things, my big things basically. I finished all my baby blankets, all of my baby sweaters. Right now it's just a little stuff. I have hats to make, ear warmers, messy bun hats, scarves, and mittens to make and that'll be it. Um, and bags for the homeless shelter. Which that, I could do those later in the year if I want to. So, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to show my one thing. <coughs> I'm not very far in it at all. I literally just started it before um, a while. I just started it today. So I, um, it looks like this. I got my set, finally got my set of um, knitting needles that I got off of AliExpress, which I ordered back in, I think, November. I think is when I ordered them and they just now got here. I got them uh, the other day. So I am using um, Hello Gorgeous by Red Heart in the color Peacock, which looks like this. It is a number four. Um, it is five ounces, 141 grams, 252 yards, and 230 meters and it is 100% acrylic. Uh, suggested crochet hook 5.5 millimeter and a 5 millimeter for knitting needle. Machine wash and dry. So, making a hat. It's going to take me forever to make those but I figured it's nice to separate crochet all the time. So I got, I did knitting. Um, so now we're going to do my, all of my finished objects, so, because that is what I have. So I did this little hat, I can't find the seam on this one because it's my own pattern and the seams are really hard to find, but I'm going to make more of these in solid color because I don't think I've ever made my hat in a solid color. I think maybe one in a coral color. But um, I think it was a baby one. But this is my pattern. I tried on, but it doesn't fit me. It's for a child. So I did that one. And that is McCall, Red Heart Super Saver. I did another child size one. And this one is just a... Oh. 
I used a five and a half millimeter hook for this, for my hat, and it is the Granny um, Crosswalk Beanie. It is a five dollar pattern over on Ravelry. If you want to get look it look it up and purchase it, I'd really appreciate it. This is just a basic beanie. It is also in Macaw. And then I have um, a messy bun hat. That is humongous. So I have my hair up in a ponytail. You can't really see my ponytail because it's going to loop. But this is the one where you can fold it up. Uh, I should have used a smaller hook for this. Because I used a six millimeter, six millimeter hook, and it is huge. So the next one I make, which I will be making more of these, I am going to go down to a five. It's because this is huge, so I'm going to go down to a five. Now I have baby hats that I'm going to show. Um, I have ten of them. I was going to do 20, but I decided that I should just stick with my 10. I made 10 baby blankets, 10 baby sweaters, and then now I made 10 baby hats. So I have three of these. So this is Never Enough, Craft Smart Never Enough Yarn by, from Michaels, and that I think is the same. Maybe not. So I made that one. So like I said, I have three of these. So there's the next second one, and then here is the third. Then I have a little blue one, a little um, royal one, and then I have a little teal one. So I did five boys and five girls. So I have a purple for the girls, a pink, a, this is another craft smart which is uh, pink, violet, and fuchsia, I think. I was just at Michael's today, and I did not see this colorway there, so. Did you see this colorway there? Uh, yes. Did you see it? Yeah, it was right at the end of the owl, and that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention, but my mom said she's seen it there, yes, and then there's a lot of one. So there is all ten of my baby hats. I knocked them, I knocked them out. I made all 10 in 2 hours and posted it on Facebook. Everybody was like, wow, 2 hours? Wish I was that fast. Now I'm going to show my baby sweaters and, um, and then that's all my finished objects. So I have this little one right here. This is the same yarn. And I used the Easy Baby Sweater, I think is what it's called. It's by the, there's a tutorial here on YouTube from the Crochet Crowd, Mikey. And then there's also a written pattern on the Yarnspirations website. So I made this one and gave it a little purple button. So there's one. And that is the pink fuchsia in purple or something like that. And then I have this one, and this one is Mint and Turqua, also Craft Smart, and I put a little green button on there. You seeing it? <clears throat> then I put a little light blue, well, my mom wouldn't let me pick the colors of the buttons. So she picked the colors of the buttons, because she said my colors don't go very good. Like, I was going to put an orange button on this because I got the idea from Mandy. She is Pants Crochet Creations. I hope I got that right. But she messaged, or she made a dinosaur with um, that mint and turquoise yarn, and then she put orange horns on it. And I thought it looked great together. But my mom says no. So I did a light, or a royal one and put a light blue button on it. And I did shorter arms on some of these. And then this is like one of the tiniest ones I've ever made. And this one right here was with Pound of Love in the colorway bubblegum. And I put a pink one, pink button on that. 
This one's really small too. I put a white button on it. And it's like a little vest type one. Thanks to your mother. And it, I think, is Oxford Gray or something like that. The next one is this one. This yarn, specifically, this colorway, is so scratchy. Like, really scratchy. The other two colorways that I have are not scratchy at all, but this one really is. And this one is Royal and Kiwi Green. And I do, this yarn was really hard to work with. Um, when it was touching my arms and stuff, it made me feel like, it made it feel like plastic. So, next time I wash clothes, I might actually wash that one because it is just way too scratchy. So, I, I might wash that one because I don't know. I just do not. And then I made this one. And this one is Craft Smart Never Enough Yarn 2 in the colorway teal. It would be better if I turn this out. Maybe. We'll try that. Then I made this one. And this one is turquoise. Even is my light fucking No, your light's fine. So I made this one. And then I went with traditional and non-traditional baby colors. And you can't even tell the little yellow button my mom picked for this one. Sorry. That's <laughs> okay. I should have picked this black. This is bright yellow. I should have picked black. It would have resembled a bumblebee. Too late now. Too late now. And then I, the last one I have is this little baby maroon one. This is actually the first one I did. So that is all of my finished objects. Which is quite a lot. And I forgot my book down home that I'm writing all of this stuff in. <coughs> so I have to use my little um, book that I keep in my crochet case to keep track of all of the stuff that I finished while I'm up here. And next time I go home, I'm probably... Um, I don't need to get yarn, but I'm probably going to have to get that bat, that book. Because I've already filled up two pages full of stuff that I finished. Well, if you want me to, I can take you down tomorrow. You can take them, them down. Yeah, I'm going to go down tomorrow. My mom will take me down tomorrow. And I can get my book and start writing all of this stuff you in. You take them down. And I'm going to take this big bag. These bags are awesome. As you can see, it's not, it does not close. But they, if you have a big blanket project and have a lot of skeins of yarn, you could really fit it in here. Um, you jet got these at the Dollar Tree, where everything's a dollar. And um, you can get a lot of stuff and they have large, extra large, and then I think they have an extra, extra large. So, I think that one's the large, I think. Okay. Um... Now we'll move on to the things that I got in the mail. So, like I said, I got my knitting needles in the mail finally, which is great. Because now I can knit. But every single one came with a darning needle. So now I have 12 more darning needles. Because I've got 12 of them. There's The ones I'll be using are these ones right here. Now, or no, I got 10 of them, my bad. So I got 10 knitting needles and every so I have 10 darning needles. But I love I love the cores on these. I thought I was getting um I thought I was getting US sizes, but no, they are they are um I think a foreign country sizes cuz they're not they're definitely not US. Like I thought the bigger the number, the bigger the needle. Well, in this set, the bigger the number, the smaller. Like, this says is a size 16. And look how fine they are. <coughs> like, they look like little toothpicks. So, these ones right here are the ones I'll be using. And I already got one hat on the needles, which will take me a long time to finish it. But, um, I needed a new set because I can't find mine. So... I got those. 
I also, um, since I'm going to be up here for a while and messy bun hats are on my list, I went to Walmart. I had gotten a whole mess of these at the dollar store, but I left them down home, so I got more. I got some at Walmart, so I got this pack of colors, and I got this pack of colors for my messy bun hats. Now, I'm probably not going to make that many because there is 30 in here, but I figured I'll, at least I have some for next time. Um, U-Jet, also, like I said, she's a very, very good friend of mine. She, actually, I have one more work in progress, but I have no idea where it's at. It's in my bag, and I cleaned earlier, so it's in there somewhere, and I think I'm just going to rip it out because I'm not liking how it is anyway. But she had sent me the, um, Denise Interchangeable Crochet Hooks. So she sent me a whole case of the, these, which is weird because I was going to buy this set on Amazon. Um, so it has sizes six and a half. This is the smallest it comes with. And then it has an eight, a nine, a ten, um, a twelve, and then it has a size fifteen millimeter. And it comes with all of these little pieces. It comes with two stoppers, a extender, um, a really, really small uh, piece, a little bit longer piece, and then two um, different size cords. And like I said, I'm using one right now, so that's... <laughs> um, and then she also sent me this, which is... iPal, that's how I think you say it, and she sent me, I already took them out of the pack, except for, um, except for the two cords, so she sent me Knitter's Pride, um, this one is bamboo, it's interchangeable, need interchangeable crochet hooks, and this one is the 8mm, which is backwards. And then she also sent me the Knitter Pride Dreams in a six and a half, which is really pretty blue. Including those, one of the packs came with these um, safety pin stitch markers, which I am using one of those on my knitting or my knitted hat. And she also included um, <coughs> two uh, two cords. She included. I'm gonna put this back in this. She included a 32-inch cable with two stoppers and a um, key, I guess. And she included this 60 inch with two stoppers and the key. And I ordered off of Amazon um, the, I think, five millimeter and a 16 inch cord because I want to learn how to do hats. And the hats that I Oh, sorry. The hats I found on YouTube use a double-ended crochet hook. I do not have a double-ended crochet hook. And I don't really want to have to buy them if I don't need them. And the other hats that I have found are worked in a flat panel. And I am not sure how to seam them up and have a nice looking hat. So, if you guys have any suggestions about um, hats using a circular n crochet hook, please, or not a circular crochet hook, but a Tunisian crochet hook, please let me know because I would, <laughs> I would love to learn how to um, do a Tunisian crochet hat. I love how they look, but, um, 
all of them I'm finding are worked flat unless there's a way that once you work them, when you work them flat, you do something else like at the end of them to where it's a hat. Like, I don't know. So if you guys have any um, tutorials, please let me know. Okay, now we are on to the yarn haul. So, I got this, um, the Peacock one at Walmart. And I also, huh? Is it thanks to my mother? Yes, my mom bought me these two at Walmart. She bought me the Atlantis, which I love this color. She bought me this one and the Peacock. So, um, now I guess we're into the yarn haul. Which I have a lot of. Yeah, thanks to my mom. She actually gave me the money to get the yarn. She even helped pick out some colors. She was just like, oh, that's nice, that's nice. And I just threw it in my cart. I'm just a good little helper. Sometimes she is. I am. So, I got a lot of yarn. And I'm going to use this yarn to make some of my own hat patterns. Um, I have another design brewing in my head, so it's going to be it's going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to involve the V stitch. You guys know I love love the V stitch. Well, I have a pattern that is going to use the V stitch. I just have to. Get a row down, and then I will let you guys know when it is available on Ravelry. For fi It'll be $5, too. All of my patterns on Ravelry are $5. I am going to link all of them below, or maybe it'll just be easier to link my Ravelry store Probably. below. Also, Sorry. on Ravelry... Um, I am going to change my name on there. It's, um, I'm going to change my store, I think. My store right now is Elizabeth Alice's Alice Moore or something like that. I am going to change it to Elizabeth's Crochet Shop. Because that is what is on my business cards. I made business cards, um... And that is where I'm going to put bags. Um, when I make bags, I am going to put them on Facebook under Elizabeth's, or, um, yeah, Elizabeth's Crochet Shop. That is where my bags are going to be when I get time to make them. So, hopefully I can make them soon. I was actually thinking about bringing my sewing machine up while Grimm's, because I didn't want to do it when Grimm was out there. But that might just be a pain in the ass. Yeah. So, it'll just stay home. So, but yeah. Um, we're gonna get to the... All of the yarn is impeccable because that is my favorite, um, brand from Walmart is Loops and Thread. Or, not Walmart, but Michael's. But that's my favorite brand from there. So, I did see that they did have new Joy Decay colors. Which, I wish they would have had those whenever I was making those, uh, shawls. Because then I could have got some variegated with the solid. But no, of course they didn't have all the colors. <sighs> but, I don't know how many skeins of yarn I got today. I just know that I got a lot. Okay, so the first one, I'll read the information before I do the color. So, it is impeccable from my loops and thread. Oh, I like that pattern. It is 285 yards, 4.5 ounces, 260 meters, 127.5 grams. It is a medium number four. You need a five, the, well the recommended needle is a five millimeter and the recommended hook is a five millimeter. Um, machine wash warm, permanent press setting, do not bleach, tumble dry load, do not iron, do not dry clean. And this color is lavender. It's pretty, it's pretty true to color, I guess. So I got lavender. I'm probably going to run into space. I, for some reason, got lots of gray. 
I got lots of gray. I don't know what it is with gray. I don't even know if gray is in, but I was just... I think I pretty much got all of gray. I got, like, all five colors of gray. I don't know why. Usually colors. I get colors, but I don't know. At this time, I just got gray. I'm wondering why you got so much gray. Yeah, I don't know why. I think I got, like, four or five colors of I gray. I think you did, too. I don't know why. <laughs> Usually, the colors, like, the pop colors are what I go for, but not this time. This is deep forest. Oh, yeah, that is better without the light on. You'll be able to see it when you watch my video. But this is deep forest. It's like a really, really nice green. I mean, I um, I got gold because everybody says mustard and gold is in right now. So I got gold. And this is thunder. It's gray. It's just gray. It almost looks black. It's it's like a, a muted black is what it looks like. Like right there, I don't know what color that looks like on, on the video. But this is called Thunder, which is just a different color of gray. This is gray too. It, that looks more silvery though. It's classic gray. My mom said this looks more silvery, which I guess it kind of does. And I guess it looks more silvery. Oh, look, we have another gray. That's black. This is charcoal. Dark charcoal. It almost looks black. Which is almost... It, on camera, it looks black, but it's really dark charcoal. And then I got pumpkin. Oh, I was going to say, if you pull out another fucking gray out of that bag... Mom! <laughs> Sorry. Just excuse her. She's she doesn't realize that what she says can be heard on the camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't but, mean <coughs> but this is pumpkin. I also got teal. Teal. I got royal. That's really pretty on the camera. I almost got in trouble today at Michael's, okay? So, we were at the checkout line, and I thought the sign back in the back where the yarn was said 50% off. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, that's a great, that's a great sale, you know? I was gonna, I got a, I was gonna get a lot, which I did get a lot. But I'm like, that's a really, really good sale. So, I just started throwing things in my cart, and then when we went to the checkout line, and it wasn't ringing up half up. I was pretty much yelling and arguing at the cash lady. At the cash lady. And she's like, well, the sign back there says, buy one, get one, 50% off. And I swore up and down and it said 50% off. So I did, ap I did apologize to her, but... And, of course, they didn't have, like, any really, really good coupons. And then tomorrow, or technically today, it is midnight now. I did start this about, what, 11.30? Yeah, somewhere around there. Well, yeah, it's almost 29 minutes, so yeah, it was about 11.30 when I started. So, today I'm going to go to Joann's. They don't have very good sales, but I know they don't post all of their sales online, so this is Aaron Tweed. Not very much stuff in that one spot, but it is, it's a, like a buff color, but it has like brown and chocolate um, flex it, which is really pretty. My mom picked this one out. <clears throat> oh, look, another gray. <laughs> That's what? One, two, three, four. That's four gray. Yeah, it's four gray. This one is true gray, which is a really nice gray. <laughs> I hope I don't have any more gray in here. I hope not either. Oh no, we're done with gray, thank god. So, I think this is the <coughs> new label of Impeccable. Well, I got one with an old label of Impeccable. And this one is clear blue, which I've gotten this one before. Um, I got Green Lagoon, which is really pretty. I got this one, which is mint, even though it looks like glow worm. It's really mint. I got um, butterscotch, 
which is like a real nice pale yellow. I got coral. I also have an idea for um, fingerless gloves. I hear they're in right now too, so it's the pattern is going to involve my um, crosswalk, um, Granny's crosswalk pattern. It's going to involve that, so be on the lookout for that also. Um, this is sea green, which is a really, really nice color. Two more. I got chocolate. I got chocolate, which is looking black, but it's really chocolate. And then I love this one. My mom picked this one out, too. It is charcoal tweed, which has rainbow flex in it. I love this yarn. I actually got like um, they were having a sale on Impeccable for $2. The, this, the yarn was $2. So I went in and I couldn't find anything that I really really liked. But I ended up getting like 4 or 5 skeins of just that um, charcoal tweed because I liked it so much. If I'm not mistaken, I think I still have a couple down home that I haven't even used. But. Now, did I need all this? No. Do we ever need the yarn we buy? But, um, it's going to go to good use. Well, is that while well, I'm at my mom's because... Honestly, when I came up to my mom's this time, I did not bring a lot of yarn up. The only yarn I brought up was the yarn I was making or using for my um, baby sweaters, and that was it. Because I thought I was only going to be here for, you know, a couple days and then go home. Well, then, you know, my great grandma back in the Encompass South, and I'm going to be here until probably after she gets home. So. At least I have stuff to work with now and can mix and match and do all kinds of crazy stuff with. Um, I think that's pretty much it, which is a 32 vid video. Vid it. That's not even a word. Um, before I go, I did want to say that <clears throat> in the bottom of all of my videos now in the description box, I am going to have links to Elizabeth's crochet shop also my stitch marker shop which is Eliz Liz's stitch markers um, I post on there uh, the beads that I have and the charms and stuff that I have I posted all of that on there if you do not see something that you like or that you want I will purchase it, get them made, and send them out to you. So, my prices for my stitch markers is 6 for 10 and 12 for 20. If you want more than 12, um, it will be 25, even. So, and as soon as I get some bags, I'm going to post them in Elizabeth's crochet shop. Um, if you are not on my Facebook group, which is a Crafty Crocheter podcast, you can come over there and join us. I haven't been very, well, I have been active recently since I finished so many items, but I go through spurts. Like, I'll post every day for a while, and then I won't post for a while, and then it's just like that. Because life kind of gets in the way, and when things are going on, you don't really pull out your phone and take a picture of what you're working on. Or what you finish, or something like that. Um, but like I said, I'm going to try to link all of my stuff on the bottom of this video. Like my shops. Um, I'm going to link my store, which after I get on here, after I do this video, I am just basically going to leave it on my phone. Or just leave it open until I can figure out how to change the name on my, um, on Ravelry. Which, 
I don't know if I should just say name it a crafty crocheter because that's what everybody knows me as. So I might just do that. I might just do a crafty crocheter. That way, if you want to find me, you can find me. So, um, I'm not sure. <coughs> Whatever I set it as, I'll link it below just to my regular store so you can find me a little bit easier. Um, so if you guys have any, um, ideas about a Tunisian crochet um, hat tutorial. I would really appreciate it. Um, I don't know. I've never made one before, but I'd like to learn. Do they all start out on um, a flat panel and then you sew them together? Or what? Um, so yeah, just leave me some comments below and I'll answer them as quick as I can. Um, I think that's pretty much it, so I will leave you guys go, and I will talk to you hopefully again soon. Bye!